Kumo desu ka nani ka? Chapter 29. The things that I need to do is still the same even if I evolve. Found the first prey. Elro frog level 5. Failed to appraise its status. The frog that I'm familiar with. But it looks like it's the highest level among the guys I've seen before. Mm. I feel like I'm wanting to know how much have changed in my abilities after evolving. Why is that a question? Whatever. <laughs> I think I should have become stronger because it's called as evolution, but my level also falls to level 1. It's good if the revision is as much as the level I have raised, but it's dangerous if a level 1 decrease my status considerably. Well, there's probably no such thing here, but there's such a system according to the game. It's temporary weakening, and I would become much more stronger than before if I raise it once again. Though it's not wrong in a speedrun game, but it's a matter of life and death if it's forced to be done in reality. I think that it's probably alright, but let's go with the safety measures here. I should not do anything reckless if I'm uneasy. My life hangs on this, so I need to proceed carefully. I climb the wall stealthily. I head towards the ceiling and advance upside down. I fix my body using a thread once I arrive above the frog. I also release threads to make a small web on my forelegs. Preparation completed. I hang down a thread toward the frog, and I move down on, on the thread. Three, two, one, go! I assault it from the overhead to cover the frog with the web which I held in my forelegs. The frog was caught in the web without an in yeah, interval. The frog was caught in the web without an interval to avoid it, and I, who hangs in the frog, who hangs on the frog with a web, shoots additional threads on the frog's body. Once it becomes impossible for the frog to move, I approach it and bite it. Um, it's a skillful hunting, even if I say so myself. Maybe it's time to be called myself an assassin. <laughs> don't you? Th don't think you can escape from this thread and fangs. Ah, for the time being, let's eat the frog. Itadakimasu. However, it's that. The things that I need to do is the same even if I evolve. At first, my objective was to gain combat experience, but I feel like that the objective is getting hazy. After all, the monsters around here generally have a higher rank than me. My life won't be sufficient no matter how many times I... How many lives... No matter how many lives I have fought it directly. Why... Why there is no one that is in a reasonable level to fight with? What? Why is it, Why there is no one that is in a reasonable level to fight with. Though the surprise attack from my assassination combo works well, but I, after I make my nest, I don't have the opportunity to launch a surprise attack. Then I feel that my first aim is out of the track because I was supposed to get stronger to be able to fight against those who break through my nest. No, no! I have evolved! My level rose! It would be advantageous if I raise my battle basic abilities. Up until now, my actions is not pointless. Let's put it that way. Foo. The activity in this area has become nearly meaningless. Dangerous, dangerous. Umu. Umu. Umu, umu. I really don't understand that sound. <laughs> However, the real problem, keep relying on surprise attack, is dangerous. It's kind of dangerous. Right. Keep relying on a surprise attack is kind of dangerous. One of the reasons I lost my home is because I was overestimating my home's power. And here... I want to develop something into a weapon. I won't have so much troubles if I can think immediately. The one that I come up with right away is none other than the unknown effect, hearsay magic. If I can use this, then I might be able to develop new strategies, but I don't know how to use it. If I were a human, will I be taught on how to use it? Well, there's no help for it even if I make such an assumption. For being, But being forced to solve everything on my own is both comfortable and troublesome. It's comfortable that I don't need to associate pointlessly with other people, but it's also troublesome that I need to uh, confront such a hopeless thing. Either way, in this figure, I don't think it's possible for me to interact with humans. I can't talk. If there's telepathy, then it might be possible, right? Come to think of it, if I've reached level 10, so isn't it time to use my skill points? My skill points should become 100 if I assume that I gain 10 skill points in each level. I was able to acquire appraisal with 100 points, so I may be able to acquire skilled soon. Therefore, voice of heaven son, can I acquire a skill? Currently, you have 200 skill points. The skill telepathy level 1 can be acquired by spending 100 skill points. Do you want to Oh, do you want to acquire it? Ooh. Ooh. That was in the book, but I, my o was yeah, that's cool. That's cool. It's really possible to acquire it. Hmm. 
Telepathy doesn't have its use in the present condition. This is rejected. But I have saved up 200 points. Th that means two 20 points gained per level. Ah, then I should be able to acquire a new skill when I became level 6. Because there's the appraisal to that is... Uh, because... <laughs> Because there's the appraisal too that is useless after acquiring it, but if I raise its level steadily, I might be usable in the future. I might have did something wasteful. Hmm? No, wait, wait. Let's recall my memories properly. If I'm not mistaken, didn't I try to acquire a skill when I was level 6 but it ended up that I can't acquire it? Huh? Didn't it say that I'm lacking of skill points? Hmm? The reason that I can think of are the points gained increased by the height of the level and increases by the evolution. Though both are possible, I have no way to verify it now. For the time being, I will put away the reason why the point increase. So wait, are we getting telepathy or not? Because that'd be pretty cool. That, yeah, uh, um, that's cool. It's, yeah, she should do that.